Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris in our Song of the Star series. This is episode 50 of Song of the Stars, and it's gone quite ridiculously well. We're still working on colonizing this last little arm of the galaxy, but I'm going to start multitasking this episode. Specifically, I'm going to start bringing my fleets back up to my shipyards. Uh, I don't even remember where my shipyards are, to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's been so long since I've really focused on building uh, military ships, but we're going to bring them back. Uh, we're also going to... Well, first of all, we're going to augment the ships we have in those fleets, but then we're going to start building additional fleets as well. Maybe add a lot to the fleets I already have, but certainly we're going to build more because I have so much fleet capacity, it's ridiculous. So let's unpause things and continue moving at as rapid a clip as we can, especially since those ships have a long way to travel. But we're also just in the process of, well, actually, we don't have a colony ship on the way to Tuaris right now, it appears, or do we? Yes, we do. So there is one on the way to Tuaris. What about to Guram? And how expensive would it be to colonize? Holy crap. Okay, we're going to wait till Tuaris is colonized. Okay, so the United Gore Photocracy has actually declared the Cope and Jaxi their rival. Really? Where's the United Gore Photocracy again? The Cope and Jaxi are the rivals with the Gore. Why? You're across the galactic center from each other. That doesn't... Mm, okay. That makes zero sense whatsoever, but whatever. All right, so um, let's go ahead and put some science ships back on Auto Explorer. Let's get you upgraded. Up oh, here. That was fast. So yeah, these ships are going to be traveling for a while. But again, we've got the game uh, moving at a pretty rapid pace, so they'll be back before you know it. And then once those fleets are augmented and at the right size with, with the various ships that I want in them, because right now they have battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. And we're going to keep it at that. No Corvettes. Um, unless I maybe build some torpedo gunship Corvettes. That might be, that might be kind of fun. So that so I have like full complements of, of ships? Hmm. Yeah, actually. Hold that thought. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Where's my ship designer? Here we go. F10. Need to remember that. Ah, oh, Corvette. Oh, it's, okay, so it's already a torpedo boat. Did I change that and forget about it? I might have a long time ago. Okay, well, in that case, these are proton torpedoes. I, I will just go ahead and add those to the fleets once they have returned. And any future fleets I build will also, of course, have those. So let's take a quick look and make sure that our starports are fully built up, which of course they are. Uh, any battleship assembly yards? Yep, we're going to need battleship assembly yards here. For, uh, orbital hydroponic farms, not so much. Let's, can we go ahead and scrap that? Alright, so I'm, I'm, I think that's replacing that one. Should be. And then cruiser assembly yards would be useful as well. Nagulaz. Let's go ahead and do... Yeah, I don't need it here either, actually. So... These will be more important in banks and in the Utopia version of Stellaris when f food is a universal resource that that, that there has um, it, it's not just planet to planet it's actually it's a galactic resource it's an empire wide resource so let's go ahead and just go for a Corvette destroyer cruiser and battleship assembly are there and then Naldoran how are you doing food wise yeah you're fine too I, I don't need any of this Corvette destroyer cruiser battleship same thing. Corvette, destroyer, cruiser, battleship. I want all of these planets to be able to churn out ships. So that is my thinking at present. Corvette, destroyer, battleship. Guess what? Corvette, destroyer, battleship. You're picking up... Oh, yeah, holy crap, we don't have... Alright, well, let's build a station. Totally forgot about building a station on our new colony. Shame on me. All right, so anyway, we're unpaused and all those things are building pretty rapidly. And that'll help us. Oh, the second Namanola is already back. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade them. Which means uh, if they're back and they're at Nalzaroth, I can go ahead and start building. Now, are they set as a rally point? No, they're not. So let's go ahead and remove this rally point just so that no one's confused. Um, now, let's see. The second Namanola currently has an extra destroyer. 
and they're down one battleship. So I need a battleship. And then I kind of want to have more cruisers and destroyers. I kind of want to have 40 destroyers in each fleet. Would that be too greedy? Would that be too insane? Let's see, 20 battleships, 20 cruisers, 40 destroyers. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, let's uh let's let's queue that up. So Alright, so 30 cruisers. I'll just queue them all up here for now. We'll we'll do a a more detailed construction process where I spread it between the worlds later. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's that. So that's going to be 30 cruisers. And then I want 40 destroyers. So I'm not going to have a lot of money for the first time in a while. That was five. How many more do I need? 14 more. Holy crap, I'm out of money. <laughs> First time this has happened in a long time. So I might need to build some uh, some buildings that can help me with this, but it's fine. I mean, it's, it's we still were able to queue all that up. So this is going to be expensive. I might need to build some mineral silos to where that doesn't happen quite as much. Let's take a look maybe at where I can build them on... Well, no, I'll keep the game running. All right, there's plenty of food on this planet. Is there a farm that I can replace? I can replace one of these. So replace with a mineral silo. Yep. All right, so we're going to increase our storage a good bit right now. All right, there's not really a replaceable building here, so I'm going to leave that alone. What about Naldoran? Yes, there is. I can definitely replace this with a mineral silo. I like it. Plus 2,000 for every single one of these that I build. That's fantastic. What about here? Nope. Not enough surplus food. I don't want to risk it. Oh, definitely can replace one of these here. So let's replace this with a mineral silo. Sounds like the science ships are hard at work. Nalsara? No. Two. All right. Definitely here, though. Replace. Done. Yes, I know that I'm suppressing food collection. Oh, hey, upgrades. Oh, what do we have here? Hang on. Let's do these upgrades real quick and also... Uh, yeah, let me go ahead. No, I don't replace the field hospital, but I will replace... Okay, so I guess there's still a, an upgrade queued up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just queued that up for upgrade. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll return to this when Darn Krod needs more uh, needs more work. But anyway, since our initial settlement of Nalhithara, several anomalies in the moon's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. This is hilarious because I was just playing uh, on EOS in the opening campaign on EOS in Mass Effect Andromeda last night. Um, so this is eerily similar to other stuff that I've been playing. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the moon's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There is no telling what the end result will be. Um... So the last time I did this, terrible, terrible things happened. Situation log updated. Like terrible, terrible things. Um, we could resume the process and it would make Nalhithara something else, but it would probably kill our colonists. Because you, you never know. Last time it happened, I think it was in this series, but it was definitely in a... Uh, a playthrough that I did recently. Terrible thing. I'm going to dismantle it. I'm going to research that way. We're researching the Zeta aliens right now. We have the option to abduct a scientist. Um, but I don't know... What is going on with this? I feel like I've looked at this multiple times. And every single time... Someone... Something stops this from happening the most frustrating thing. All right, so we're sending one of our science ships to take care of this for the third or fourth time. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Okay, so it seems like the first Nabagnoli is very close now. Meanwhile, our new ships are being built on Nazaroth. New battleships. Okay, we've got a new civilization. Where? 
That's in the Yeon Empire. Systems I don't care. Complete. Construction complete. Okay, let's actually have the first Nabinoli go to Naldoran. They can upgrade there. Problem solved. Nobody commented, by the way, about the audio uh, in the last episode, so I'm using very similar, if not identical, settings this time, and hopefully everything sounds okay. I assumed, since nobody commented, that everything was good. Printing press. Ooh. So, pre-industrial civilization here on Jurg Palik in our territory has developed the printing press. They have entered the industrial age, or the late medieval age, rather. God, that's a long building queue. It'll speed up once the battleship is done. Okay, so we got some society research from that, which might even help with our project here. Let's see. If we say excellent. Yeah, shaved six months. So we're going to be done with this very soon. What? Oh, okay. This science ship tried to come back down here like an idiot. Reports of deep space drones. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's establish a listening post. I'm surprised that hasn't already been done. So the Lum Aura, tell you what, we just need to return. Okay, we're finally doing that. Nothing has happened with the worm in waiting for a while. Terrifying, but... 17 months away. Wait, 17 months? What happened? Oh, the abduction failed! Wow. That sucks. That was going to be a cool chain, too. I was excited about that. Alright, so this has gone back up to 16 months. We must have had a change with our scientist somehow. Oh, you know what it might have been? Hang on. Let's, let's talk to our buddies. I don't know why I just tried to scroll that way. There we go. Where are you? I can't remember where they are. Are you here? Yes, you're here. Yeah, can you aid us in our research? We would like to purchase this service. Thank you. Okay, that... Well, that didn't do a whole lot, but gives us a little bit of a boost again. System survey complete. Had a feeling that might wear off. Okay. Also, our colony ship should be getting close. Yes? Yes. It's in the Yeon Empire at the moment. And we have plenty of influence. Almost enough to colonize Garam. So the third Namagnoli is being built right now in Nalzaroth, but we're, we're going to merge that. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, you're upgrading the first Namagnoli. Let's see how their attack power changes. 21.9 to... Hey! I was in the middle of looking at something. Crystal and asteroids in Adar. To 22.3. Okay, good. Science officer... Science officer Varix Kabelema has leveled up and gained the trait Meticulous. Anomaly discovery chance has increased. Very nice. And the first Namagnoli just got even stronger. Because I think we have some super-powered weapons now. I think we have some uh, some extra-large weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a quick look and find out. Battleships? Yep. Oh, there's a particle lance. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that in action. What about on the cruisers? Or on... What about... Yeah, what about on cruisers? No, nothing. It's They're not big enough. It's a good-looking ship. New air. Oh, our... Oh! Holy crap, the quorum died. He died at 84. Pretty young. All right, so our new ruler is a fortifier. We can build defensive platforms, which we need to do, technically, now that we're locking down the borders of our space. Um, and then he's going to live for a long time, so that's good, because we're going to need time to do that. Our heir is going to be a champion of the people, and it's going to live for a long time as well. Not bad at all. Alright, so how's this Q doing? All right, they're almost done with their cruisers, and the destroyers will take an especially short period of time. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade the crap out of this guy. Meanwhile, we'll also build a an observatory, which we should have done a while ago. Oh, we had a, we had our physics scientist die. That sucks. Um, all right, 
they're looking into the tachyon lance. You need a particles researcher if there is one. There's not a particles research researcher, but there is a computing researcher. Cytophane cop pretech. All right, Cytophane, there you go. All right, so peace offer. Nice. Don't care. How is okay? We got seven months until that's done. Colony ship, how you doing? Should be approaching your colony. Okay, good. Has entered the arm of the galaxy that we're trying to colonize. Again, we're not going to colonize Matari there because that would piss off the Davik remnant to no end. System survey complete. System survey complete. So as soon as that colony is underway, we can probably go ahead and send a ship to, Gu to Guram. Okay, let's see if that improves things. Whoa! Nice! Species has been modified, that's what that meant. Alright, so this is a tidally locked world with Stone Age primitives. whoop de doo We're still going to colonize it. Let's go ahead and colonize it as Nal Guram and send a ship on their way. So Nal Tuaris is being colonized right now. And then we're gonna need to do some outposts in order to really make this work, unfortunately. I'm kind of annoyed about it, to tell you the truth, because there's there's just nothing here. In the Banks patch, there could be potentially uh, some terraforming candidates, as they're called. Wow, look at our mineral capacity now, 32,000, much better. So let me go ahead and replace... Yeah, let's extend the deal. We want that Zura Gel. Let's replace this with another mineral silo. This is the first time playing Stellaris that I've been tempted to build those silos, but it makes perfect sense. That's the way I prefer to learn, too, organically. Like, you know, there's a there's an experience, there's a, spe there's a specific need that very clearly shows you Hey, you, uh, you should probably work on this. <laughs> you should probably have something set up here. All right. Um, which sector is this? You got a sector having problems? Sec Damien? Um, I can fix that really easily. All right, problem solved. And then I need to close the sectors because there's just, as usual, too much going on. Now, how's the construction queue going here? We've got four more cruisers to build and then just destroyers. Oh, and that colony ship isn't going to get cranked out until this construction queue is done. That's annoying, but we'll wait. All right, Nal Tuaris has been built. Uh, needs to be a new sector, I would imagine. So let's call this Sectoar, <laughs> if you will. We've encountered another civilization. This is a early space age civilization on a planet called Seed of Hope in the Corvarian's space. Don't really care that much. That's their problem to deal with. Are we building? Oh no, not just yet. We have a few more cruisers to finish up. Do I have a res- Okay, good. We're researching Tomb World Habitability now. Oh no! That was our awesome scientist, so we need to recruit another one from these guys. Which is totally doable. Can we recruit one of your scientists? Of course, you shall have your donation. Excellent. Alright, so new scientist. Ah, uh, cool. His name is- Ah, uh, this one looks awesome. His name is the Mentot. Wow. Ridiculous research speed. Cool. 
All right, so 34 months remaining. Everything's pretty well matched right now. We're six months away from the kinetic battery being done. I don't even know that that necessarily is going to help us that much. All right, let's go ahead and do that, followed by Corvette, Destroyer, Cruiser. And then when this upgrade's done, we'll have room to do a battleship assembly yard. And then that'll be set. So yeah, we're going to have not only an observatory, but a solar panel network. Just, we don't really need the solar panel networks anymore. We're totally good on network, on um, energy production. But we're going to roll with it anyway. All right, this is our last cruiser. The destroyers are going to build a lot faster, I imagine. And I could actually split this up if I wanted to. But let's, let's go ahead and take... Oh, why, why is the... Why are... What? No, you're supposed to be getting upgrades. System survey complete. Uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. The second Amanoli is the one that arrived first. I got it mixed up. The first Amanoli did receive their upgrades elsewhere. So, tell you what. Let's go ahead and... I still want you guys to get your upgrades done. So, why don't you fly here to Furtest? So the first Namagnoli is now going to get upgrade as, upgraded as well. Kinetic battery is done. Very nice. What have we got? <laughs> Giga cannon. Uh, I want it. It's a mass accelerator, though. It's not... Hmm. Auto cannon, missiles. I mean, I guess I'll go for the Giga cannon just because extra large weapons and explosions and fun things. But, yeah, I'm already going... I'm going for two extra large weapons at once right now. But these were the options dealt to me, and I will take them. That is a magnificent fleet. Let's slow things down a bit and just actually enjoy this thing flying through space. Look at that. It's beautiful. Another thing I'm going to do as soon as I have... Oh, what do we have here? Oh, our governor on Furtest just died while right where we were right next to Furtest. Right, let's just have a nice, long-lived governor. Yep, Azuli Cabellama. Done. Pretty sure we've had another character in the past named Azuli Cabellama. We've been playing the series long enough that uh, names are starting to repeat themselves just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, destroyers are getting cranked out at Nalzaroth. And then we're going to add this smaller fleet to the second Namagnoli, and the first Namagnoli, we can we can start augmenting them anytime, really. Let's see, what do we have here? Let's send them back to Naldoran. Oh, need to do another upgrade, oddly enough. All right, so what do we have? We have more battleships than I need, but I want to build an additional cruiser. So 11 more cruisers, and then 40... No, no, no. <laughs> 19 more destroyers. Okay. So at Naldoran, we're going to have... So there's our cruisers. And then, was it 19? I already forgot. Yeah, 19 more. Destroyers. So. Done. That's that. Let's speed things back up, shall we? Yeah, I just don't like this disconnection down here. And there's, there's no way to really get around it until we build a um, an outpost. Which we could build one like right in Farood with this guy. Let's go ahead and do it. We're not going to need influence as much as we did in the past. So let's build a frontier outpost right there. Incoming transmission. Research agreement between the United Gore Photocracy and us. Ha 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 ha. Ah, no. Sorry. That's not going to happen. 
Okay, well, on that note, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. In the next one, uh, we're going to keep building up those fleets, and we're going we're gonna to hopefully get all of these this territory connected and colonized, and we can really start focusing on filling in the blanks and colonizing some of the worlds on the interior here. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we are not that far from victory. We are less than 60 planets from victory. It's pretty cool. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.